friends welcome to our instrumentation triple e tutorials and this video is very important for the process guy as well as some instrumentation and control guy why because we will see how the process parameter is controlled in instrumentation and control and electrical engineering so we have four types of generally process parameter in oil and gas industry one is flow, second is level measurement, third one is temperature measurement and fourth one is pressure measurement. So generally we maintain and we control the these four parameters in oil and gas industry or any refinery or any power plant also. So we will see one by one each control and with its walls final control element means we will see the sensor plus final control element. How the use of this sensor and final control element is used for controlling the process parameter so our first process parameter is flow control so in flow control uh, we require the one sensor which is ft flow transmitter and final control element which is fb and one one very important is controller so the controller role is also very important because the set value which we want to maintain in our flow control is given in this controller. So the controller may be uh, in a field mounted or controller may be in some room control room mounted. So this is the three part which we require and in each pressure control, temperature control and level control also we require sensor, control element, final control element and controller. So we will see these three elements sensor, final control element and controller and all types of the control parameters, process control parameters. So now first we will draw a one line in which there is one FT. There is one FT is installed for measuring the flow. So it will measure the flow PV value. And there is one control walls install, installed in this line. So and the both FT and FB are connected through controller okay the controller so the PV value will be given from FT and the manipulated value or the final value we can say the final value will be given through this controller to FB for maintaining the flow which we require so suppose we want to flow through this line is 50 meter cube so we want to 50 meter cube but if the control wall will open 100 percent it will give 100 meter cube okay so we have given this 50 meter cube set value in this controller and this controller also this controller also will see the PV value. The PV value when match this set value, then it will open the wall as the PV value will be 50 meter cube per hour. So it will give, the controller will give command to walls so that the flow in this line will be 50 meter cube per hour as required by the operator. So this is the one uh, control strategy that is used in oil and gas industry where they want to control the flow. So the next our point is pressure control. So generally if you want to maintain this is your tank okay this is tank or vessel you can say and uh, here there is one there is one wall which is pv wall is installed 
and this is nitrogen air line for example nitrogen line okay and here one pt is installed okay one pt is installed pressure transmitter which is monitoring the pressure inside this tank so the role of this pv wall is to supply nitrogen air line so that it maintain the pressure of this vessel so in this process what will happen the, the pressure wall and the pressure transmitter is connected through controller and the controller which is given 5 kg set point mean the controller will always maintain the pressure of this tank or vessel 5 kg through this wall and through this PT. So how it will maintain? So suppose if uh, the pressure of this vessel is 4 kg then it is uh, measured by the PT then this PV value is given to the controller 4 kg. So when controller measure this 4 kg and when the PV minus set value so the PV is 4 and set value is 5 so minus 1 error is there minus 1 so some calculation and some mathematical operation is given to the controller which work upon this error it always try to minimize this error and always try to minimize this error to zero so when it measure that the tank vessel pressure is 4 kg then will automatically give command to the pv wall and then pv wall will open and it will supply nitrogen to the vessel and then vessel will maintain the 5 kg pressure so this is how the pressure is controlled in oil and gas industry so now this is pressure control third point is level control this is also very important so for example here also we are taking a tank okay and here is also one lt is installed at the top of this roof of the tank and uh, there is also the one line in which one LV level wall is installed and the LV and LT is communicating through this controller where we have given the set value is 50% and there is also one wall or some manual wall also it may be the some manual wall where the all liquid is going through some other places so the liquid is filling through this and liquid is going out through this line so now we have to maintain 50% level of this tank but uh, some time the manual wall is opened and then it will uh, your level of the tank will be reduced and whenever it will goes from 50% to 40% or 30% then the level transmitter will measure the value of the actual a current level of that tank then it will transfer the value of the PV to the controller and then controller compare this PV to the set value which we have given to controller and automatically for maintaining the set value of uh, the level of the tank then it will give command to the wall to open or to close so this is how the level control in oil and gas industry and our instrumentation electrical engineering so now the 
last and very important the temperature control this is also very important so you have heard about the steam which is generally in oil and gas sector steam is used to maintain or control the temperature of the process temperature of the process so for example you have a one heat exchanger one heat exchanger there is a lot of uh, many tubes and here is the tubes the water or some process fluid is flowing through these tubes and here the steam so here one pt is installed uh, sorry tt is installed for maintaining the output temperature outlet temperature of the heat exchanger and here is the steam line where one tv one tv wall is installed so the same tv and pt is connected through controller and where the controller is given set point is 80 degree means the heat exchanger outlet temperature will be 80 degree centigrade always and it will maintain through this tv wall so whenever the temperature transmitter reach temperature below 70 degree then it will automatically give signal to the controller and then controller measure pv value of this tt and it uh, compare with the set value which is given to the controller then it will give command to the wall for open or for close so this is how temperature control is happen in the oil and gas industry so the four process control parameter we have seen and if you are new in our channel please subscribe and also if you want to know some other instrumentation and electrical related knowledge then please comment us and uh, please like also and for more instrumentation and control video please subscribe our youtube channel and thank you very much for watching this video till the end